this is a tour of my radio station here in Cranston, Rhode Island. And we will start with this computer right here. <clears throat> this is my HP Z210. It's a running Linux, MX Linux. Uh, and it's a, a nice computer for what I use it for. Right now I'm running an ACOS program that uh, is uh, data, whoops, data between ground stations and aircraft. And let's see, you can see the, uh, the planes that are currently up in the air right now over, over Rhode Island and parts of Massachusetts. And you can look them up. You see the number there, like, uh, where is it? AAC 118. You can go in the search bar, type it in, and it'll, it'll find it for you on the map here. So this is called ACARS. It's a, it's a VHF uh, mode of transmission uh, with the planes where they can communicate with the uh, airports and ground stations. And it's, uh, it tells how much fuel they have and all kinds of uh, technical data or whatever. And it's pretty cool. And it's a free program too. But on Linux, you got to build the program yourself. You can't just download it. So it was kind of a kind of pain in the ass to do. But I've got this uh, hooked up to an X50... Uh, antenna outside scanner antenna it's way up there um, and I'll show you I'll show you that shortly I'll show you the the, uh, the uh, connection shortly um, and over here we have a rack of scanners this scanner right here at the top this is a Uniden SDS 200 and I use that for the uh, RISCON P25 system in Rhode Island it's uh uh, most of the police and fire and agencies in the state are on this uh, P25 uh, system on 800 megahertz, and I'm using a an 800 mega an 800 megahertz Yagi beam antenna right outside my window here. It's uh, mounted right to the gutter, and you don't need to get them that high. You just have to point them in the right direction, and this works pretty good. Next is the BCT15X. This is a uh, I use this for just regional conventional stuff, basic. Uh, police fire and businesses and whatever whatnot um, on just conventional UHF and VHF frequencies like this is Fall River right now it was just on there and uh, this is this is also connected to the same antenna as my uh, computer running uh, the aircraft program all right down here this is a BCD 996 P2 I use this for mostly uh, military stuff Coast Guard and the Cranston police. And sometimes during the summer it gets busy. You can hear a lot of uh, military stuff. And this radio here is just a, a two meter UHF uh, ham radio, an ICOM. And let's see if this thing will focus. These, these are software defined radios right here. Um, this one right here, I, I believe. Yep, yeah, this one right here is a radio which is intercepting the data on that other computer with the aircraft data uh, and it's connected they're all connected to the same antenna and here's how it's a uh, an MCA 204M multi-coupler um, I can have uh, four outputs I can run four radios on one antenna so it's very it's very good I don't need a bunch of antennas I can run up to four uh, radios off this one antenna so that's cool. And this radio here, this is the uh, ICOM 7300 uh, HF. Right now it's uh, running FT8, which is an amateur radio mode. Uh, and I just made contact with N4, N4ZZ, so I have to fill out the rest of this and send it in. And I get a little credit for it. But these are all the stations that are calling CQ um, right now. So the con band conditions are not that good. It's kind of crappy today, but um, I'm on 20 meters here. So it might get better later. I don't know. Okay, the next radio here, I got myself a CB. This one here is uh, President McKinley. It's not bad for a CB. I don't use it that much, but it's here. And I got a nice meter here that I got for a Christmas present. Uh, too bad the light doesn't show up that good. Uh, and there's a little matchbox on the top. And right over here is the power supply for that runs all most of this stuff. It's an Astron. 
and I keep this plastic uh, cover on here because the the meat is really bright. I can't you can't see them; they're so bright. So I keep this plastic on there to, to mute the brightness. And this is my old 20, uh, 30 watt digital auto tuner, which was replaced with this uh, LDG AT Pro 2 uh, auto tuner. This is the high powered one, um, which is hooked up to that radio right there. Because you've got to tune your antenna. The antenna is a G5RV dipole out in the backyard. And what's going on over here? Yeah, reception there on the scanners is pretty good. And there's usually a lot of stuff going on, so there's a lot to listen to. And we'll go take a look at uh, the antennas from the window here. Probably not going to get too good of a view because of the sun. Uh, yeah. But anyway, there's, there's the, uh, that's the scanner antenna. That's the 2 meter UHF antenna. And that's the Say Bay antenna. The HF antenna to the wire out there, you can't really see it. So anyway, that's my, uh, that's my station.